Thank you, Brooke. Well, during the late 60s through the mid 70s, Elvis Presley occasionally made his presence known in Palm Springs. The king lived in three homes in the desert. Eric Meeks, the author of The Best Guide Ever to Palm Springs Celebrity Homes, knows all about it and shares these tales with Steve Sumrall for this edition of Our Desert Past. Elvis, that's right, Elvis Presley, the man, the myth, the Palm Springs resident? Well, yeah, the Lord of Graceland has honored our valley with his presence on several occasions. On your left, the Elvis Presley house. This residence on Camino Norte West was the first place that Elvis would call home. He rented this 1947 three-bedroom, four-bathroom house with a pool years before he would rent the now-famous Honeymoon Hideaway. Over the years, many fun stories have been told by Palm Springs residents who have crossed paths with the king, like this anecdote that was shared by the late Kay Ballard in her memoirs. She was going downtown Palm Springs and kind of gawking at it, you know, window down, looking at it. And supposedly Elvis pulled up in the car behind her and goes, I know you, Kay Ballard. <laughs> like that. It's this house built by fame architect Robert Alexander in 1960 for his wife Helene that the king is most associated with. Elvis and Priscilla were to have been married here on May 1st, 1967, if not for the efforts of one very nosy neighbor. Her name was Rona Barrett, and during the late 60s, she was known as Hollywood's premier gossip columnist. She got wind through the bell caps out at the Palm Springs airport that family of Elvis was in town, and therefore, as more and more of them started to show up, she correctly deduced that there was gonna be a big affair. And uh, Elvis and Priscilla, instead of getting married at the house here in Palm Springs, climbed over a short uh, back fence and went to a waiting limousine that was provided by uh, Frank's, or well, I don't know if Frank provided the limousine, but the airplane to go to Vegas, Frank did. Frank Sinatra did. So their desert wedding would become a Vegas wedding and Mr. and Mrs. Presley would return to this home to honeymoon in Palm Springs. That celebration would be extended over several decades as Elvis fans from around the world would return to this house again and again to pay tribute to the king and his music. Fans such as Elvis's Kiss and Cousins co-star Cynthia Pepper. The people who have love Elvis, and you can feel that energy, and it's, it's like I said, it's, it's an Elvis, it's for him, and I think he'd be very pleased. Elvis only leased the house for a year, but the Presleys were not finished with the desert yet. They just liked Palm Springs so much that he bought the house on Chino Canyon. The Jurgens family, famous for their line of bathroom products, hired renowned architect Albert Frey to build the Spanish colonial home on West Chino Canyon in 1946. Elvis owned this house from 1970 to 1977. And then Elvis had a big section added to it, 1,500, 2,000 square feet added to it. Uh, that's the jungle room and an, an additional suite. The suite for Priscilla and baby Lisa Marie and Elvis and his entourage would party in the jungle room. But that was the beginning of the end uh, for his relationship with her. And uh, in the end, they end up divorcing while he owned the house, but he owned it another handful of years or more, and uh, it became his party house here in Palm Springs. But there was a price to pay for Elvis's behavior in his party house. He would sometimes shoot out his television, and it's rumored that it was Robert Goulet on it. And sometimes that price had to be paid to a man named Ken Parker. And Ken owned Hallmark TV, which in the 60s, 70s, and even into the 80s, was the place to buy a TV in Palm Springs. Ken would get a phone call from Whoever in Elvis's group uh, was making the calls that night, hey, Elvis shut out the TVs again. We need to come by and pick up two or three. Is it okay? And Ken would go down to his shop at two or three or four in the morning and open it up. And Elvis would show up with a couple of carloads of guys and pick out the TV, load it onto Ken's truck, and Ken would go up to the uh, uh, Elvis's home on uh, Chino Canyon and install the TVs and then go back home. Well, that's showbiz. For our Desert Pass, Steve Summerall, NBC Palm Springs, News First.